Hello and welcome to Understanding Information and Communication Technology course. I'm Ala Youssef and I'll be guiding you through the course. This course will cover a range of topics aimed to help you understand ICT, Information and Communication Technology concepts, in an easy way. The course has been compiled with the Cambridge International Examination Syllabus in mind, yet it can also be used as a useful reference for other ICT qualifications at GCSE level. The course starts from basic principles, so no prior knowledge of ICT is required. In section 1, we'll cover types and components of computer systems. We'll start by introducing ICT. We'll distinguish between hardware and software. We'll cover main components of general purpose computer. We'll explain information processing cycle, what software is, operating system, utility programs, compiler, linkers, and device driver. Then we'll cover human computer interface, types of computer system. In section two, we'll move to the impact of emerging technologies, such as artificial intelligence, vision enhancement, biometrics, robotics, quantum cryptography, computer-assisted translation, 3D and holographic imaging, virtual reality. In section 3, we'll cover types of input devices. We'll talk about the use of each device, the advantages of each device, and its disadvantages. We'll distinguish between manual input, such as keyboards, pointing devices, inputting images, inputting sound and music devices. We'll cover direct input systems, such as magnetic ink character recognition, optical mark recognition, optical character recognition, radio frequency ID reader, magnetic stripe readers, chip and pin readers, and barcode readers. We'll cover different types of sensors, such as temperature sensors, pressure sensors, light sensors, moisture sensors, pH sensor. In section 4, we'll cover types of output devices. We'll talk about the use of each device, its advantages and disadvantages. We'll cover monitors, printers, butters, 3D printers, speakers, and control devices. Then, we'll give an example of control system an automated greenhouse.